Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to manually add orders into your Shipping Easy account. If you want to use Shipping Easy to immediately purchase a label without any strings attached, this video will show you how. If you have orders from a store that cannot be directly integrated into Shipping Easy, you can still process them inside Shipping Easy to take advantage of our rates and automation. If your store allows you to export orders via CSV file, I recommend watching my video on how to upload orders via CSV by going to the link on your screen. This saves you time by adding multiple orders at a time. This video covers adding orders one by one, so it's perfect for those one-off orders for smaller businesses. So let's get started. Starting on the orders page, hover over Quick Ship on the blue bar at the top. You'll see a drop-down menu that offers two options, New Label or Return Label. Selecting a new label will allow you to create a label that will be sent to a customer. Selecting to create a return label will generate a label where the ship to address is yours. Your customer will use this label to return your items. I'll begin by showing you how to create a new label. Most of the options are the same. If you're on the orders page, you can also click Add Manual Order right below the Create Shipments button on that page. This brings up the Create Manual Order window. The left side contains items that are fairly familiar. At the very top, you have your saved addresses drop down. If you've added addresses to your customer address book, just click here and enter a few characters to search and fill in your customer's information. Otherwise, select whether the order is domestic or international. If you choose international, it will split the address box into individual fields to make it easier for Shipping Easy to understand the address. If you select domestic, you'll be given the option to paste the entire address and Shipping Easy will be able to verify it for you. If you're having trouble with that, you can always click show fields and put the address in line by line. Below the address field is the email address field. This is technically optional, but if you want your customer to get any emails like shipping confirmation for this order, be sure to put their email address here. This option is especially important when creating a return label since this allows Shipping Easy to automatically email the label to your customer versus you doing it manually. The phone number is also optional, but you can enter it here if you like. If this is a new customer address and you want to save it for future shipments, you can check this box here to add it to the address drop-down at the top there. Over on the right side we have order information. This is where the platform would pull information about the order to fill out variables in a packing slip, confirmation email about this order, or any emails created with our customer marketing tool. If you aren't worried about that information being present or accurate, all of this is optional except for the starred fields of order number and item name. But I'll show you how to fill it out completely. If this is an international order, I recommend filling this out as much as possible as this is where the information to populate the customs form will come from. Order number is pre-filled with M for manual followed by the date and the last number is the number of times you've opened the manual order screen today. You can add your own order number if you like or use the one supplied. The order date is the date the order was placed. It defaults to today but you can also change this if needed. The order total is how much the customer paid you for this order and the shipping total is how much the customer paid you for shipping. We don't know the cost of this label yet, but we do know how much the customer paid you for shipping, so put that here. This is especially necessary if you use the shipping margin report as it depends on accurate reporting of what the customer is paying you. Below that we have the custom fields. If you have something you need to track about the order that doesn't fit anywhere else, feel free to use a custom field. You have three and they can be anything you need them to be. Below that we have the line item information. If you scroll down a little, you'll see this information is only for a single line item. If you have your product catalog set up with item names and SKUs, you can begin to type the SKU in the SKU field and autocomplete suggestions will pop up. Select the correct option and Shipping Easy will automatically fill out information based on what's pulled from your product catalog entry. This includes item name, SKU, warehouse bin location, price, quantity, and weight. If you don't have your product catalog set up yet, you can still enter each field individually, but I highly recommend setting up your product catalog to save a tremendous amount of time when shipping. Check out the description of this video for a link to information on getting your product catalog set up. If you weigh each package individually, or plan to not use the Quick Ship button in blue at the bottom, then you can leave the weight field blank. 
I'll explain the use of this button in just a moment. If you have more line items to add, you can click the Add Another Line Item button at the bottom and repeat until you've finished adding everything. Once you have everything filled out, we turn our attention to the three buttons at the bottom of the window. Create Order, Save and Get Rate, and Save and Quick Ship. Create Order adds it to the Orders page just as if it came across from an integrated store, applying any rules you have set up in the process. This also sets up the label to be purchased through our Instant Rate feature. The description of this video has links with more information about Instant Rate. Save and Get Rate puts it directly on the Ready to Ship page where you can manually select your shipping carrier, service, and packaging. You can also add insurance and other items related to shipping on that page. The last button, Save and Quick Ship, is a drop-down that holds saved configurations for carrier, carrier service, and packaging. If you plan to use this option, you must ensure that the weight above is not set to zero unless you're using a package that does not require a weight, like a flat rate option. We provide you with a few default configuration presets, but you can also add your own to this menu using your settings menu. If one of these selections applies to the current order, just select it from the list and poof, label purchased. One final thing I want to show you pertains to the other option when creating a manual order, return label. You should only use this option if you need to create a return for an order that was never created or downloaded into Shipping Easy. The only difference you'll see is at the top, you have an option to input a store address at the top. This is your address since the customer will be returning the item to you. In the next dropdown, you'll either select the customer's address or paste it in. This will act as the ship from address. Remember, if you want your customer to receive the label automatically via email, Supply an email in the Email Return Label To section. That wraps up this video. See the How to Ship video at the link on your screen right now for more information on shipping from the Ready to Ship page and how to create saved selections. But that's everything I have to show you about adding orders manually. To see the support article on this topic, click Guide at the top of your screen and open the Basic Shipping Setup Guide on the left side. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone.